This is DTM. I am here to share a little bit about how I set up my Surface Pro. This, this is especially um, um, good to know for the artists who are competing in the Microsoft Flat Iron Turn and Red Iron competition. And I'm um, going to run through some of the things that I have done to this surface to make it work for me the way I want it to work. Uh, you can still set it up. Right now it has a, um, I have the surface and it's, I lay it flat. You can draw on it like this if you want. And uh, let me turn on that uh, layer. Let me start a new layer so I can draw what I want to draw. Right, there we go. I have the um, USB keyboard attached so I can hold down the space bar and move that canvas around. You can uh, use control plus to zoom in, control minus to zoom out. You can go ahead and uh, use the pen to draw. Um, so the keyboard is great to have it connected. This is a USB keyboard so if you have a Bluetooth mount, uh, keyboard and that that's gonna do mu be much better because then you have that port open and available. I turned off the touch options on this surface. So let me go like this, right? And so how do you turn off the touch options on the surface? Well what I did was go through the device manager Um, device manager. If you're familiar with computers and, uh, and familiar with uh, Windows, then uh, you uh, may be familiar with the device manager. So there are two settings here HID compliant touchscreen. Right now I have them disabled. I just enabled one and I'm about to enable the second one. No, 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 wrong way. I uh, Oh, that's it. They're both ready. There we go. Uh huh. And I, there's uh, two of them, and it looks like when I just turn one on, the second one turned on also. What I, I like using those, um, turning it off because when you don't, you start j getting into things that jump your way that you didn't mean to do. So sometimes I'm doing something and I get a uh, this stuff right there. You know, so I get the action center pulling up. Uh, let me put it. Hey, easy, easy, buddy. There we go. There we go. I like the fact that you can use touch, though, uh, to zoom in and zoom out. Um, uh, and then sometimes you get this stuff here and things start happening and it gets in the way. So so when that's when the touch is on. And then when the touch is on, you can, like on uh, Medibank, this is Medibank Paint Pro, you're using your finger and now you're drawing on it and you did not mean to do that. You can also use Adobe Illustrator. However, Adobe Illustrator likes to work only in landscape, not in um, portrait mode, which uh, I, I really wanted to just work on whatever I choose it to do. So as you're doing things and so on, you have the pen tool and you have you can have accidents where you're drawing and doing something and then accidentally use your hand to draw on it or, or finger or so on. Um, this is the touch setting on the Adobe Illustrator. It's great. It's amazing. I like it. I love it. Control plus to zoom in. Control minus to zoom out. Um, and the space bar again to pan in and out. That's great. That's awesome, right? That's 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 was that's was awesome about having a keyboard that you can work with. I just changed the Illustrator back to Essentials um, mode so that I can go ahead and see more controls. So when you're working with Manga Studio, it's cool to have the touch on because then look, you can pan in and out, zoom in and out. Manga Studio and even Medibang, they respond a lot faster than Illustrator or Photoshop because they're lighter programs. A, uh, uh, Microsoft Surface Pro is a full machine, it's a full Windows computer, so it uses full Windows programs. But 
Medibang and Manga Studio have been set up to run very lightly on um, to take up a lot very little processor required so that it can run faster so here we go I'm just drawing and sketching and so on and I can use my hand but there's always a danger that you're touching on something by accident right so there we go and it's doing that uh, there's that stuff going on like that right so I turned off my touch so let's go to device manager where'd you go you were just there let's go to human interface devices human interface devices touch screen and then next to the to the delete uninstall we don't uninstall it disable it there it goes disable it will cause it to stop functioning yes thank you goodbye amen the next one again disable it yep done now look nothing happens look at that that's amazing right that's cool that's great okay here goes the illustrator doing something don't do it don't do it illustrator all right let's go of course now with illustrator you don't have that problem you see and then you use this as the pen that you want to use it with so let's go to so we have um let's go with this paintbrush setting come oh, on help me out now there we go so I get the blood brush and let me zoom out because I have shortcuts to play with look at that and I can move the camera around right so let's uh let's delete all this stuff and the keyboard is great because then you can just get rid of stuff so there's the the blood brush and it responds to pressure come on don't tell me this is not cool I get it you're, you're, you're using pressure sensitivity on Adobe Illustrator and this pen on the surface. That's cool, right? I like it. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Last thing is, again, these other softwares. Um, Medibang is cool. Medibang, I like the fact that you can um, um, uh, do the little brush strokes like you can in Adobe Draw. Come on, something happened. There we go. Control plus. No, no control plus. No, there it goes. Control minus. That's right. It does control minus, but not control plus. That's cool because then I can zoom in like this. And I can change the degrees of. <laughs> like that. Look at that. <laughs> and the navigator. That's a navigator window. And uh, so what I like is I like the pen sharp. And it gives me these cool, smooth strokes with the tapers kind of like the way it does on Adobe Draw with the iPad Pro. That's, that's I like that. I like those, those brush strokes. That's cool. Um, I like it, the fact that uh, there's an undo button over here. Undo, and now I can go ahead and uh, try out some stuff. There you go. Just draw real quick, right? Yeah, ha <laughs> There we go. That's it. So that's me, right? I like these little brush strokes. Um, those are cool. I found that, that out by playing around with Medibang. Play with Medibang. It is free software, Medibang Paint Pro. Then there's, uh, of course, Manga Studio, which is not free, but it's a good software. It's called uh, Clip Studio Art nowadays. And, um, you can sit there and draw stuff and knock things out and uh, let's see what's in here which one is this all right that's Kelsey and who else we got oh, that was her first drawing there's W there's Roger and uh, Havana and I'm working through the rest of the illustrations of everybody else who we got there that's just me messing around so yeah uh, use Medibang turn off those other settings so they don't mess with you and use a keyboard so that you can use the zoom in and zoom out control plus to zoom out control minus to zoom zoom out control minus zoom in control plus 
and when you're drawing and you have the color that you want and I do a lot of like line drawing type of stuff I close all the windows so that everything is just right here you can control zero to just show the whole page so I hope this is helpful this is DTM follow me at Vector Maestros let me uh, draw that out for you uh, follow and leave me some comments let me know what you think let me know about some software that you use how do you use it to draw to create art uh, that's what I do that's what I'm interested in that's why I continue to try things out and uh, see how they work back to my astros on uh, YouTube and IG and also follow me at uh, Delta Tango Mike and you can check out more events and workshops uh, that are coming up in the schedule by going to artistking.org we have a lot, long list of events and workshops coming up so check them out learn, earn and uh, become a thriving artist this is DTM, peace out